Hi, I'm Arlen Walker and I am live from Pelham's Wasteland and today I have got another reading for inspiration for you guys. Um, this time I'm going to talk about a book called The Tain, which is a translation by Thomas Kinsella of the Irish epic The Tain Bo Quelnia. I, I, I'm sure I butchered that, but um, if you search The Tain, it'll definitely come up. Um, the story of the epic has to do with a cattle raid, a, a great cattle raid to take a great bull from Ulster um, by the the people of Connacht, the, the, the king and queen of Connacht go on this great cattle raid. Um, while the men of Ulster are suffering from their, their pangs, it's unclear exactly what it is, but they're, they're suffering and unable to fight. And so oh, the only warrior who can fight is um, Cushulain. I hope you pronounce it that way. Um, that's the way I've always pronounced his name. Um, anyway, and he he is a um, adopted um, into the the Ulster uh, court, and so he's not suffering from the pains, and he's able to fight. And he turns out is really good at fighting, despite being fairly young and. Um, keeps taking on the the connect champions and defeating them and he fights them at fords and and one of the the things that happens is that all throughout the the passage through um as the army makes its way through ulster and back the text talks about um the way that things are named and so it's it's really hard in some ways, it's hard reading because if you don't know about this kind of, like, don't have this kind of geographical knowledge that obviously somebody living in that time would have had um, or living in that area would have had in the, that time, um, it can seem like this sort of random assortment of, of names and place names and all of that sort of stuff. But I think if you're willing to sort of dig down what it creates, and the reason that I'm recommending this as reading for inspiration, aside from being just a, a great, fun epic, there's sort of two elements. And one is this, this element of place names and this idea of creating a history of the setting through, um, through place and through... Um, the the details of the setting itself that you have you know this is this is the ford where x event happened this is the and it's named for that and this is the forest where x event happened and is named for that and these are the hills where x event happened or these are the mountains where and having a history of your setting that is the result of this kind of tradition that um records these these events these details about what happened in these places and names them for that it can be a really powerful thing i think if you're trying to create a um a setting with history and then the other thing i wanted to talk about is the value because there's a little bit of it there's there's not um not quite as much i i thought one of the most interesting sequences has to do with fergus um, Fergus McRoyth, I th want to say is the name, who um, is telling the warriors of Connacht and the leaders of the Connacht forces about Cthulhuin while he was younger and the feats that he did. And there's this kind of wonderful sort of um, quality of of overtelling the story of, of exaggeration, this heroic exaggeration that turns out to be true because Cthulhuin is such a mighty warrior. And I think that's another thing that is um, a, a technique that can really um, be used well in your gaming storytelling is exaggeration for effect, essentially, telling the story as if it was greater than it actually happened, or perhaps, perhaps telling it in such a way that it seems like it must be exaggerated, and yet that is the way that the events happened, or the, the way that things actually panned out. Um... And that, I think, is something that uh, ties into this. It, it really ties into an idea of um, unreliable narration and things like that. But um, 
what I'm getting at is that this, um, this aside from being a, a sort of rousing heroic epic about um, you know Irish warriors fighting each other and doing all sorts of great deeds of warriorhood and all that sort of stuff, um, it's also got these these really interesting things about the idea of like place names about the idea of um heroic exaggeration that i think can really um tie into the way that you uh run games and the way that you tell stories within games and all that sort of stuff so yeah that is um the Tain, the Tain, as translated by Thomas Kinsella, it has some illustrations in it that are all on my Kindle. They are all black and white, um, and I assume that they're black and white in um, the 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 physical book because they're all like kind of very simple brush stroke illustrations. Um, but they're they're neat. Um, definitely kind of give a feeling of the. I don't know. It's hard hard to describe. It's it's the, the it's sort of cleverly tie in to the text itself, sort of like a a, a Rorschach test almost um, in a way. Anyway, the Tain it's real good. Um, it's it's totally worth reading, um, and especially it's worth reading. I think to get a sense of um, how to do these kind of interesting techniques these these interesting ways to tell stories and to generate history in the world and all of that sort of stuff that's all really powerfully done because of course a lot of the um a lot of rpg settings have a lot to do with these kind of um oral traditions these 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 kind of heroic cultures um, from a, a very different time period and all that sort of stuff. And so getting a sense of what what these types of peoples in history thought about um, the nature of, of violence and warfare and of their own storytelling and all that sort of stuff is something that I think can really um, elevate your game. So that is this episode of Reading for Inspiration. I hope you have enjoyed. If you want to get in contact with me, I am at Cows from Powis on Twitter. I am on Anchor, anchor.fm slash Pelham's Wasteland. And I am on, excuse me, YouTube. Live from Pelham's Wasteland is the YouTube channel. And you can get in contact with me any of those ways. And I will uh, respond to you however you get in contact with me. So with all that being said, I think it is time to just say I've been Arnold Walker, I've been live from Pelham's Wasteland, and I will see you next time. Take care, everybody.